Hi, I'm Daniele from DVO. In this video, we're going to look at the problem of dependency conflicts. Dependency conflicts are the single most common cause of deployment failures that we see on our platform. And they're very common in Python. They occur when the requirements of a project contain an internal contradiction. So for example, your project could require Django 1.11, or it could require Django 2.0. But if you have things in that project that require between them both Django 1.11 and 2.0, then you have a problem because you can't possibly have both. And that's what's happening in this actual project that we've got in front of us here. We've got a last deployment failed message, and let's have a look at the log and find out what it tells us. And we'll go down right to the bottom of the log. And here's the interesting part. Could not find a version that matches Django less than 2.0, less than 2.2, is exactly equal to 2.1.7, and is greater than or equal to 1.8. Now the parts here that are in conflict are is exactly equal to 2.1.7 and less than 2.0. You can't have a Django that matches both of those constraints. So the question for us now is to find out which of those is the one we're going to keep and which we're going to change. The first clue is that something has gone to the trouble to specify an exact version here, 2.1.7. So it's most likely that you really do want that and that this requirement is something from something else along the way that has um, crept in and perhaps it's become out of date and is now specifying an older incompatible version. So that's our first clue. In fact, if we have a look at the add-ons that are installed here, we can see that Aldrin Django has been specified, Aldrin Django version 2.1. 7.1 and that's our wrapper for Django itself, Django version 2.1.7 and back in the failure log, so now that we're reasonably confident that 2.1.7 is the Django that we want, if we try and find out what is responsible for wanting to install Django less than 2.0 that will probably be quite useful. So let's do a little search for that and straight away we find this we see um, in the list of dependencies that are being compiled that Aldrin Forms version 3.0.5 wants to add Django less than 2.0 to the dependencies. And that's where the problem is. Aldrin Forms version 3.0.5 wants to install this older version of Django, which is incompatible with our Django 2.1.7. So let's go and have another look at the add-ons here. We already ascertained that that was what we wanted, Django 2.1.7. Here's Aldrin Forms. And in fact, what we see here is that we're on version 3.0.5 and an update is available to 4.0.1. Now, when you see that an update is available and it's causing a conflict by wanting to install an older version, it's most likely that that is your culprit. So what I'm going to do now is update this to version 4.0.1, the latest version. So that's ready. And what we can do now is go to the dashboard and redeploy. This will take a few moments. And if it can successfully build and go on to uh, the migration stage of the deployment will know that we've successfully eliminated that dependency conflict. So here it's building the image. It's amongst other things, collecting all those Python requirements and checking them to make sure that there are no incompatibilities in them. And once it's done that, it's going to pip install them. And this is good news. Um, we're now running the migrations, which means we've been able to build the requirements. And in a moment, the deployment is going to be showing a successful. There we are. That was a successful deployment in which we resolved a dependency.
dependency conflict. Let's look at a more complex example. This is an old project that has been running for a long time without problems, but now we've tried to redeploy it and we've run once again into a dependency conflict, just as we did before. How can this happen that we've run into a dependency conflict when nothing in the project itself has been changed? Well, the answer is that although nothing may have been changed in the project's repository, which still exists exactly the same dependencies, that doesn't guarantee that nothing will be different when the project is actually built. So we need to have a closer look at this, and to do that, we're going to set up the project locally, where we can investigate it more easily. Let's set it up here in the local development environment. It's going to pull down the repository and then rebuild it, including those PIP requirements. And in a moment, we're going to see the same error as before. Here it is. So let's try to find out what's installing or trying to install Django 1.11 or newer, because we can see that Django 1.8.18 has been explicitly requested. And there we are. We can see that, in fact, there are two packages, Alder Insights and Django Simple SSO, that are trying to install Django 1.11 or greater. And what's happened here is that when this project was last successfully deployed, it needed these two packages, but it didn't specify their versions, or the things that installed them didn't specify their versions. So although that was okay at the time, in the meantime, these two packages have been updated. And the newer versions are now trying to install a newer incompatible version of Django. That's what we call an unpinned dependencies. And PIP will always choose the latest version of an unpinned dependency. And they can be troublesome because they may work when you build the project, but a future update that's completely beyond your control may mean that they now need to install something newer. So we'll, we can see that Aldrin Sites 0 0.6.0 is installing Django 1.11. There's probably something in this project that's installing um, a version of Django Sites without saying which one. So what I'm going to do is have a look at Aldrin Sites itself. Let's go to its repository here. This is Aldrin Sites 0.6.0, the version we were looking at. And we can see here that it requires version of Django 1.11. And if we take a look at the previous version, we can see that it's happy with Django only greater than 1 or equal to 1.5. So downgrading that to a version less than 0 0.6.0 should do the trick for us. The same thing with Django simple SSO. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab both of those and in the requirements, I'm going to specify them. So that's what we've got at the moment. And I'm just going to ensure that both of them install an older, earlier version. Let's save that. And now let's run the build command. Docker compose build web. And if this sucks, no, let's get into the right directory. And if this succeeds, we'll know that we've it's already succeeded. So we do know that we've identified the culprits and fixed them. So let's add that, git add the requirements, and then we can git commit pin dependencies, and we can git push or push origin master. We'll push that to the cloud. And back here, if we now redeploy, we should find that this also builds successfully. And here we have a successful deployment. We've resolved that dependency conflict by pinning those two previously unpinned dependencies. In our next video, we'll look at a way of preventing dependency conflicts from occurring in the first place by pinning all of the dependencies in a project. In the meantime, 
please take a look at our documentation on the subject, which also guides you through the processes we've just covered step by step. Thanks for listening.